Hello and welcome to another episode of Impact Photo. I'm your host, Dustin Meyer. And today we're gonna to do something a little different. We're gonna do retouching on a guy. I know a lot of times in the past, the episodes I've worked on are mostly females, but I think it's really important for us to demonstrate the way it's a little bit different when it comes to working with guys. Uh, obviously, we don't want to do too much with makeup, but a lot of times, you know, guys can have, um, you know, sun damage or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and open a single image and we're going to go over to, let's see, there we go. Now, some of you guys may recognize who this is. This is Blake Mykoski. He's the founder and CEO of Tom Shoes. I really like this company because these guys, they donate a pair of shoes for every pair of shoes that you buy, which some of you guys are probably wearing right now. In fact, I'm gonna brag a little bit. I've got a pair that he actually autographed for me at this session, so however, they are extremely dirty because I just wear them all the time and they're not in a glass case. But anyways, moving on. So what we're gonna do here is apparently uh, Blake has a uh, kind of a boyish face, so we're gonna go ahead and switch that over to male. And there we go. Now, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go over to uh, view before only, and we're gonna adjust the outlines here. Let's see, hairline looks good. A lot of times with facial hair, you'll find that you need to adjust the outlines a little bit just to make sure that everything looks nice. In fact, let's see, eyebrows look good here. And now sometimes like you see with my computer, it might act a little bit slow or you see what we call the Mac users uh, beach ball of death. So what you can do is go back and that way it's not going to apply the changes that you made while you're adjusting the outlines. And that way it goes a little bit quicker. It doesn't actually try to calculate all the changes and everything. So uh, this way it goes a little bit faster, which the whole point of this software is to free up your time. We're gonna click outside the box here and then zoom into the next one. That looks good. We're gonna bring this one in right about to where, you know, it's the actual white part of the eyes, not all the way to the edge of the creases of the eyes. And let's see, we're gonna bring that in a little bit more and then click outside again. Let's go into this area here and just double check nose, lips. Now, for some reason, Blake has extremely white teeth. Maybe he uh, got them whitened before the photo shoot or because this was actually uh, right at the opening of the new Tom Shoes here in Austin, Texas before the uh, South by Southwest. We actually were able to go in and do the pictures that morning because of an interview that we were conducting with Austin Woman Magazine. And uh, it was right before they had opened the store. It was before their actual grand opening. So it was pretty cool getting to check the place out before anybody got to go in the store. All right, everything's looking pretty spiffy here. All right, and then just click spacebar. Okay, now, like with most guys, we tend to have a little bit more sun damage because we don't really take care of our faces. And with Blake, you know, he's spending a lot of time in uh, poor countries, handing out free shoes to people that need them. They also do water now, which is really awesome. And they also have their new uh, brand of coffee too, which is actually really good. Speaking of coffee, I'm gonna have a sip here because I haven't had mine yet. Okay, so what I tend to do is I like to zoom out a little bit while I apply the general changes because I just wanna see how it looks in relationship to the rest of the picture. Now, real, real quick with face sculpting, sometimes if you mess around with the lens correct, it'll improve it just a tad. And then also if you have clients that tend to tilt the head forward, or I'm sorry, uh, tuck it into the neck too much, then what this slider will do, head forward will actually correct for that to help kinda define the neck versus the jawline because the jawline is really important. All right, and then we're gonna to go to skin smoothing. Now he does have some shine, which has, happens a lot when you spend a little too much time in the sun and it kinda of tightens the skin a little bit. We're gonna to go to remove shine up here and bring that up, bring in some color. Now I'm not expecting the shine to go away completely because we do wanna have some highlights on the face to add some dimension. Also, we don't want it to look too plasticky, which we always wanna avoid. And then, see that looks pretty good. Now texture, it really just depends on your preference here. I'm just gonna kinda play around with it a little bit. And let's see, we're gonna add a little texture to it because one, that'll kinda help with adding a little bit or you know, kinda remove the shine a little bit because then it'll bring some of the highlights down because the nice thing about texture is it does add some color and saturation and brightness to it. 
And then for a spot removal, this is a really good way of getting rid of any sunspots or uh, you know blemishes. And that's looking pretty good. Okay, so we're gonna close that out. Skin lighting, you can always play around with this, but for those of you guys that actually do your own lighting, then you may not have to worry about this as much. Or if you got your lighting wrong, then you can mess around with it. I do like to have a little bit of dimension. In fact, while I do this, I tend to zoom out all the way just to see how it affects the overall picture. And let's see, I think I like how that looks. Okay. And then makeup controls, not so much since we're working on a dude right now. Eye controls, uh, this one is important to me. So what I'll do is just use the master slider and if you watch, it will help his eye stand out. Now this is something that I tend to do a lot when zoomed out because it is important that the eyes stand out, particularly the white around the eyes and if you wanna change the color as well. So, however, you don't wanna to go too crazy with it because you don't want that twilight kind of look or the werewolf look. Um, unless that's what you're going for. So we're gonna bring it down right to about there. And then let's see, we're also gonna change this one. We're gonna zoom in a little bit and we're gonna just mess around with something, remove pupil reflection just a little cause we don't wanna distract. And then let's see, reflection opacity, octagon. No, I think we're just gonna take that out a little bit because we do want to keep a little bit of that brightness in the eyes. And then let's see, mouth and nose. Now again, he has kind of unnaturally bright white teeth, so we don't really have to mess around with it too much, but mouth and nose controls is where you'll find all of those sliders right there. And then let's see, we've got nose contrast. And then real quick, we're gonna go into touch up just to, well, we'll change the size with the brackets. There we go just to help bring down any little highlights on the face from shine that need to be removed. There we go. Okay. And now we're gonna zoom back out. All right, well, I think that looks pretty good. In fact, I think it looks like a really good, hard-working kind of guy that's out there doing good for a lot of good, helping lots of people. So that wraps it up for today's episode of Impact Photo. Again, I'm your host, Dustin Meyer. If you learned something today, put it in the comments below or like the video. You can also subscribe to my channel, and that way you'll get to know when any new episodes come out. I'm always trying to put out new ones. Also, um, if you have any questions, again, just you know, leave them on the video and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Once again, this is Dustin Meyer signing off. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Uh, also, uh, hair controls. Again, as I've said before, this is one of my favorite things to mess around with in here because I just think it looks, I think they've done a really good job with um, to change the shape of the nose. If you want to make it smaller or longer, uh, you can also do a board if you need to. So sometimes people get a little bit of double chin and then we're going to do just a little bit of a base.